as Brienne escorts Jaime Lannister back to King's Landing at the behest of Catelyn Stark in an attempt to exchange him for her daughters, he inquires as to how she came to be in Lady Catelyn's service. With minimal probing, he quickly realizes she had originally pledged for Renly. Jaime then proceeds to make cruel japes at Brienne for loving Renly whose proclivities were the worst kept secret at court. This prompts Brienne to nearly erupt with fury but Jaime diffuses the situation by saying he doesn't blame Renly for his preferences nor Brienne for loving him, saying, we don't get to choose who we love. Later, when the two of them are sharing a communal bath, against Brienne's wishes, Jaime, who has since lost his sword hand, reminds her of the vow she made to deliver him to King's Landing in one piece. He agitates her for failing to protect Renly but quickly apologizes upon gauging her reaction. Jamie then regales Brienne with what really happened when he slew the Mad King, and asks her if she would have kept her oath if Renly had commanded her to do the same things as Ares did, but Brienne is too stunned by Jamie's story to answer. Meanwhile, over in Dragonstone, Stannis makes preparations to have Robert's bastard son Gendry sacrificed as part of his plan to win the Iron Throne. His hand Davos Seaworth tries to dissuade him from doing so by reminding him that Gendry shares his blood, to which Stannis replies, so did Renly. Although Davos doesn't justify his king's fratricide, he shows his loyalty to Stannis stating that Renly wronged him when he declared himself king ahead of Stannis.